Hello everyone and welcome to Mountain Lake Journal. I'm Tom Halleck. This week the Lake Champlain Basin Program has released its latest five-year plan on the steps it'll take to protect and restore the lake and its basin, including a new focus on climate change. The 2022 update continues to address big issues like water pollution, nutrient loading, tackling aquatic invasive species, and conserving fish and wildlife habitat. Eric Howe, the program's director, said the new plan, on its own, is not enough to mitigate the impacts of climate change on Lake Champlain. He says that's an effort that will take decades. This five-year plan certainly will not get us where we need to go. Um, that said, we have a lot of resources to work with, and courtesy of the, the bipartisan infrastructure law funding that's coming in, uh, we can count on funding uh, to coming to the Basin Program for the next five years, which is wonderful. There is more to be done. This plan will continue to head us in the right direction. We will be putting a lot of resources into planting trees and protecting and, and conserving riparian areas and lakeshore areas um, to reduce flooding impacts, to help with thermal mitigation or, or uh, preventing the uh, te water temperatures from increasing too, too much, and, and, and that can affect the whole lake ecosystem. Um, so they're, they're, we are, we're, this is a good step in the, in the right direction. Um, this is a five-year plan, and, and you know, this is the, the, the solution is a decades-long solution. How says the $40 million earmarked in last year's trillion-dollar federal infrastructure package will give the Basin Program the funding it needs to take on new projects over the next five years, including more research into the impact climate change may be having on blue-green algae blooms, that show up primarily in Vermont's waterways during the summer, but with climate change and warmer water temperatures, they may spread to other parts of the lake and last longer into the fall. When we make investments in environmental restoration, those are economic investments that directly help our communities out. And you see that on the New York side, you see that on the Vermont side, you see it and feel it in the passion when you go to those communities and realize the connections that they have to this lake and to this ecosystem. And it's great to see the progress that we've made. We're seeing water quality as high as ever and improving overall throughout this lake ecosystem. We've got an amazing boat steward program in the lake that's helping to uh, shut the door to potential introductions of invasive species through recreational boating. And we've got a strong commitment to really making sure that we're taking all the steps that we have to as a state to keep invasives out of Lake Champlain. Right now, much of that fight is focused south of the lake in efforts to prevent the spread of the round goby, an invasive fish that has made its way from the Great Lakes and Erie Canal to the Hudson River and Champlain Canal, where it's knocking on the door of Lake Champlain. Howe also said the 2022 plan is developing new grant programs that would prioritize projects coming from underserved communities. He says the Basin Program Steering Committee is also planning to update the data it uses on the economic impact the lake has on the region so they can better show the value of investing in initiatives to clean and protect the lake. He says the data they're using right now is decades old. We know that environmental protection drives economic development and don't let anyone ever tell you otherwise. Several of the speakers at the signing of the new Opportunities for Action Plan thank longtime U.S. Senator Pat Leahy from Vermont for advocating for the Basin Program's cleanup efforts and clean water projects over the past 30 years. And we are so psyched to work hand in hand with partners here to make sure that we hit all of our goals of clean water, healthy habitat, fostering thriving communities, informing and involving the public. I mean, this is, and to, to, to achieve these, we'll be working hand in hand uh, using the infrastructure uh, funding that the senator and colleagues, his colleagues in Congress, colleagues all over New England, have supported. Leahy, who chairs the powerful Senate Appropriations Committee, says he wants to secure even more funding for the Basin Program before he retires in January. I was asked earlier this week if after 50 years I'm at this point would not finish the, the job of restoring Lake Champlain. No. You can never call it finished. You call it an ongoing job and you keep on, on doing it. And I'm optimistic uh, for the future.